Let's talk about networking within Onyx. Setting up ArtNet or SACN network devices, as well as other network protocols, is simple within Onyx. We'll head up to our Onyx menu, into our main menu, and then come over on the side under the network section. First, we'll visit settings. Within Onyx, we have multiple ways to network, as I noted before. We have ArtNet and SACN, we also can do XNet, the Onyx Remote, as well as CITP. The first tab we see here is our Shows tab. This is where, if we're on a network, we'll see other shows that may be on that same network or other devices. The only thing you need to note here is in order to join a show on another device, you need to make sure they're both on the same software version. Then you'll be good to go. Okay? You can see Shows, Devices, see your two network interfaces, as well as your preferences on this screen. Onyx consoles feature two network interfaces, Ether DMX and Remote. You can see these on the back of the consoles. The Ether DMX interface allows you to connect ArtNet or SACN devices. That's generally the use for that port. Then, on a completely separate network port, you have your remotes. You have things like OSC, things like the Onyx remote, um, as well as different consoles on XNet that you can run on a separate network to keep your remote completely separate from your DMX streaming. We'll go to the Ether DMX tab and show you how to set up ArtNet and SACN. First and foremost, if we go to the Devices tab, you're going to see any ArtNet devices that support the ArtNet polling such as the Netron devices. If you see devices in here, then you can configure them right here inside of Onyx. If you're not using ArtNet, if you're using SACN, or your devices on the other end don't support that ArtNet polling, you won't see them here, but you can still send data to them. For any device that you see in this field, you can press on it, see each port, or see all the ports together, again, depending on the device, and you're able to configure everything inside that unit. It's going to show you data about that node or device that's taking ArtNet or SACN um, directly, and you can change your port and the universe that it corresponds to. In the Settings tab is where we're going to set up generic ArtNet or SACN devices, anything that doesn't show up in the Devices tab, which, again, is only ArtNet devices that support that ArtNet polling. Here at the top, we have a master switch for turning on and off our Ether DMX output. And then we have each of our network interfaces. If they're connected like our second one here is, our Ether DMX, it gives us the ability to turn on ArtNet and or SACN to set input or output for your ArtNet or SACN, and then to set the range of universes that you want to send. You don't have to send all of them. Um, and, the, and then you can also toggle on Broadcast for ArtNet. If you're not turning on Broadcast for ArtNet, Onyx will only send ArtNet data to those devices found on the device's screen. Okay? So if you have devices that, that aren't supporting that ArtNet polling, you'll need to turn on Broadcast, which will send more information down your network, but then it will reach devices that are not found on that screen. You also can override and fake a unicast to a single device. This can be useful in simple circumstances where you may have one ArtNet node, you just want a unicast to it, you can set that up here. Awesome. To, to change the IP address of your Ether DMX, you can press IP settings right here, and you get a small pop-up, or it's also under the network settings on your actual interface on the right side here. In Onyx, we have three options. We can go automatic, static, or Ether DMX. If you're sending ArtNet data, Ether DMX is preferred. It's going to put that IP address in a range that ArtNet is friendly with and otherwise set it up. 
Uh, but you can set a static IP address if you're choosing or automatic get an IP address from a DHCP server that's on your network. Once you're ready to go, you press apply, the settings are applied, and now you're sending data to your devices.